in Nyandara County, dairy farmers are turning to new climate smart technology to address the perennial challenge of fodder shortages and losses caused by traditional silage methods. The innovation, now gaining momentum across the region, promises faster processing, higher quality feed and drastically reduced wastage. Our reporter Dennis Otieno tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. For decades, dairy farmers in Nyandarwa have relied on the traditional pit silo approach, which is labor-intensive, costly, and unpredictable. Many often lose entire pits of silage when oxygen infiltrates, causing spoilage. But today, farmers here say a new technology is rewriting that story. For Monica, the difference is life-changing. This machine is a lot Kwa sababu sasa inaenda na technology. Zamani tulikuwa tunashiba mashimo, tunakanyaga ayo nini, anafu kikata kukanya na marakatasi, iko na mbeigali sana. Sasa hii haitumi pesa nyingi. Hanaiba Elizabeth Wanjiro echoes the same relief. Hii mashini, imeona kazi yake ni rahisi, si kama hile tunatumiaga uko kwetu manyubani. Nini vile nimesoma, ni hali ya um, kufanya kasi kwa haraka eh anikaona parking ni mzuri afu mambo ya storage una store unajeka kanyumba kadogo tu unaweka magunia unaweka magunia sasa instead ya kuishiba hiyo shimo eh hiyo shimo kwa sababu tunatumia kwa shaba unaweza tumia na mambo mengine and behind this newfound confidence is a new technology introduced to help farmers cut costs, improve feed quality, and guarantee long-term preservation. What it does, it, it's able to process different kinds of fodder variety depending on what the farmer has. So it ensures that whatever you have, as long as it can be fed to a cow or to a sheep or to a goat or even to camels, and even to pigs, it can be processed through this technology because of the chopping that it is that the chopping component. So it's able to chop very finely, uh, at between two to eight centimeters, and also grind so that it can remove all the juices. And Teresia Wanja, a silage expert, says the machine does what traditional pits cannot: precision chopping, nutrient mixing, and vacuum sealing. And the other important aspect is the TMR, the total mixing ratio aspect. So the mixing pact ensures that you're able to mix uh, the fodder with various nutritious aspects where you ach- achieve the energy levels that you want and the protein levels that you want. And that, through that feed formulation, uh, the fodder is very nutritious. And then, of course, the vacuum and siling. So the vacuum and siling ensures that you remove all the oxygen. And of course, uh, the other advantage is the fact that um, once you, you vacuumed it, uh, within 14 days it is ready for you. You don't have to wait for a very long period compared to the traditional methods. Unlike pit silos, where spoilage is almost inevitable, the oxygen-free environment guarantees consistent, nutritious feed for months, even years. With traditional methods, farmers spend heavily on labor and digging. The risk of rot remains high, but with the new technology, the cost of making feed drops dramatically to less than three shillings per kilogram, and the results are predictable. Nyandarwa, one of Kenya's top milk-producing counties, continues to suffer from climate-induced fodder shortages. This innovation, they say, is part of a broader push for climate-smart agriculture, ensuring farmers preserve fodder, reduce losses, and boost milk production year-round. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.